Hey guys, Curious Monkey here. Today we are going to talk about neurons. So what are neurons? Neurons are basically specialized cells which are present in our CNS, okay, central nervous system. So every cell has a cell body, right? So even if neurons are special kind of cells, they are not exception to this fact. Now, this is what I've tried to show you in this picture. So the cell body is like a balloon shape, right? So the balloon has a thread which you hold on to. So the cell body of the neuron is having an extension like the thread in the balloon in the picture. So this extension is known as the exon, right? Moving on, we have another extension from the cell body. So as you can see in the picture, these are antennas right so what are the purpose of the antenna they are to catch the wavelengths and then show you the programs on your tv right so just like that these guys these are known as the dendrites okay these help in catching the nerve impulse nerve signals which will be transmitted later towards the end of the exon okay so now as we mentioned towards the end of the exon now as you can see in the picture there are door knobs these are actually door knobs okay so like the names um, suggest there are something known as synaptic knobs okay there are something known as synaptic knobs like this at the end of the exon okay now before moving on i'll tell you a story okay so there's this one guy known as Ranveer, okay? So Ranveer, during winters, he wore a jacket, right? A jacket to protect from the cold and a thermal inner. So because he was wearing a jacket and a thermal inner and he wasn't wearing any socks or any muffler, okay? So where will Ranveer feel cold? You'll feel cold on his neck and on his feet right or maybe when he pulls up his um, jacket for some reason he'll feel cold on his waist right so just like that the exons imagine the exons wearing kind of jacket or whatever like this okay they have something like this covering them so these are known as the myelin sheet okay now just like in the story where Ranveer was deficient of deficient of clothing or uh, he was feeling cold there there are parts known as on the exon known as node of ranveer and that's how the story came into being now nah, i'm just kidding so you get it right you get the point so basically those uh, node of ranveer are important because they help in conduction why is it so is because like imagine if the impulse is coming from the dendrites right the impulse is coming from the dendrites through the exon uh, through the cell body now it has to reach fast towards the synaptic knob but in order to do so it can't just travel straight because the exon can be long for some neurons it can be short but it has to reach fast the goal is to reach fast so it needs to hop right so it needs to skip so it skips and skips to reach finally towards the synaptic knob so it makes it faster the impulse faster right so th that is one of the functions of the node of ranveer and now why are myelin sheet important is that it protects the cell body the neurons and also it provides nourishment for the neurons right so those are the functions for the myelin sheet let's say that there is another kind of structure just similar like this right so see just similar like this there is another structure that is obviously the neurons right so if pulse needs to conduct then how will it conduct it will conduct through the synaptic knob and how will the synaptic knob convey its message it will send some signal right so these signals are provided by a thing known as neurotransmitter so imagine if these are costco balls right these are costco balls 
with which they are playing fetch and fetch they by meaning the synaptic knob and the dendrites of the other neuron right so the synaptic knob will be throwing these cosco balls that is the neurotransmitter neurotransmitter as you can see from the name neuro meaning your neurons and transmitter because it is transmitting the impulses now let's take a closer look at this part of the portion okay so this is the magnified version of the synaptic cleft so the synaptic cleft is basically the space between the synaptic knob of one neuron with the dendrites of another neuron so the synaptic neuro, uh, knobs of neuron number one let's suppose is going to have what is known as the synaptic vesicle okay Syna synaptic vesicle are going to contain these neurotransmitters the cosco balls right so a cosco ball is not just kept like that so it's kept in a bag or something so so that it does not go haywire right so just like that the uh, the synaptic knob also has synaptic vesicles known as uh, known to keep for uh, keep the neurotransmitters in place right so whenever they are released these neurotransmitter so these neurotransmitter when released they get attached to the dendrites okay the dendrites then receive the signals from the neurotransmitter and then they will conduct the impulse okay so it goes and goes on long like this now uh, that's all about the parts of the neurons now some of the facts about neurons i would like to say before ending this is that just like how in this story ranveer was wearing red sweaters and red pants right so uh, the myelin sheet are actually white in color okay here i've drawn uh, red but they're actually white in color so as you can uh, as you might have heard the white matter and the gray matter of spinal cord and uh, the cns right so the spine uh, the white matter is nothing but basically the axonal part axonal part of the cns whereas the gray matter right the gray matter is basically the cell body it's a cluster of the cell body it's where all the cell bodies and for the neurons right so that is why it appears gray in color and white uh, white matter uh, appears white in color because of the myelin sheet uh, so that is all for this uh, video and i would like to end the video by saying a big thank you to my sponsors <laughs> and they are my parents and my brother thank you to them and i will try and make more and more videos thank you see you guys